What's up, you guys? You're watching The Buzz, and I'm your girl, Madison Hill, and you are officially watching the first rap party with me, Madison Hill, where I break down the top celebrity drama that went down this week and give you just a little bit of my opinion. Where my party people at? 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 Okay, we're gonna kick it off talking about Kylie and Megan the Stallion and their whole hangout situation that ended in a hospitalization and an arrest. Yep, that is true. So Megan Thee Stallion and Kylie Jenner were caught hanging out. Megan even went Instagram live with Kylie. Rapper Tory Lanez was also there. And it caused a lot of people to ask WTF is going on because Megan Thee Stallion is friends with Jordan Woods. Yes, that same Jordan Woods who used to be Kylie Jenner's best friend until Mr. Tristan can never keep it in his pants got in the way and had a little scandal with Jordan Woods causing their friendship to completely blow up and be non-existent. So you can see why people were kind of confused as to why Megan Thee Stallion, who we thought was friends with Jordan, is hanging out with Jordan's basically ex-best friend slash frenemy, even though Jordan Woods is living her best life and she's much better off, but that's besides the point. So when people saw this, very confused, I think there's a few things to keep in mind, especially in the world of celebrities. Number one, Megan and Jordan could quite possibly just be acquaintances as much as I want them to be BFFs forever, it's very possible that they have just a very cordial relationship. So Jordan could quite possibly care less at the fact that Megan was hanging out with Kylie. Number two, Kylie Jenner is a businesswoman. Above all else, we cannot forget. So it's quite possible, in my opinion, that she also wanted to make sure that she established a relationship with Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion is hot. She is the it girl. She is the hot girl summer. She is savage. She is everything. So I think Kylie knows it would benefit her in the long run, whether that would be, you know, to have Megan's help with promoting a future product or a cosmetic collaboration. Kylie knows that Megan Thee Stallion could definitely help her. So I think it also, she knows that it would benefit her to hang out with her. So while that was definitely drama in and of itself, what happened afterwards with Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez is even more tea. So essentially, Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, after hanging out with Kylie around 4.30 a.m. the next morning, had a little run-in. So they were outside of Hollywood Hills' home. Witnesses told TMZ they heard arguing, then gunshots, then the car drove away. Police responded, they were able to get a description of the vehicle, which led them to tracking down the SUV and finding Megan Thee Stallion with a wound on her foot, originally reported from broken glass, Tory Lanez, and then a third woman in the car. So police ended up searching the vehicle, they found a gun, Tory Lanez was charged with possession of a weapon in a vehicle, which is a felony charge. Megan Thee Stallion was listed as a victim in the incident and she was taken to the hospital to have her foot wound treated. Now, Tory Lanez was released on $35,000 bail. We all were thinking that Megan had this injury from glass. Well, come to find out, she later posted on her Instagram story that it was not from glass. It was a gunshot wound. So this is what she posted on her Instagram. On Sunday morning, I suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to the hospital where I underwent surgery to remove the bullets. I'm incredibly grateful to be alive and I'm expected to make a full recovery, but it was important for me to clarify the details about this traumatic night. Now she captioned the post saying, she hates that it took this experience to learn, she needs to protect her energy. So I don't know if Megan and Tori had a little something potentially romantic going on, but if they did, this post makes it clear that that is absolutely over with no potential in the future. And if that's the case, I think it's a good thing. Megan, for the most part, has remained scandal free. And I think that's also why a lot of people love her and gravitate towards her. So I don't think she needs anyone who's gonna bring her down in her life. As far as her and Kylie and that friendship moving forward, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that and wait and see. Okay, now we're gonna move on and talk about Mr. Kanye West and this whole presidential candidate debacle is basically what I've been calling it. Is he running, is he not? That has been the question this entire week. So at the beginning of the week, after announcing on Twitter that he was gonna run in the 2020 presidential election, it was being reported that Kanye was likely pulling out of the race. He was pulling at 2% and everyone was thinking, you know, that wasn't good enough for him and he was gonna take a step back. 
Entertainment Tonight reported that he did fill out an important form, you guys. He filled out the FEC Form 1 Statement of Organization. The form basically is there in place to say what party you're representing in the election. And he said that he was representing the BDY party, the birthday party, and that quote, because when we win, it's everybody's birthday. That was his political party stance, the BDY party birthday party, because when we win, it's everybody's birthday. Now, despite Kanye filling out that crucial form, sources were telling Entertainment Tonight, you know, he changes his mind every day. He's really back and forth on whether he's gonna do it. He's essentially just filling out papers in case he decides to go through with it, but we're thinking he's leaning towards no. Okay, well, just as quickly as that was reported, things really switched around at the end of the week when a representative for Kanye went to Oklahoma, went to the elections office, and filed paperwork to have him put on the ballot. So they filled out his candidacy statement and they also paid the $35,000 filing fee. So, people in Oklahoma now have the opportunity to vote for Kanye. And all I have to say to that is, Lord, Help us all. Okay, we're gonna move on to the last piece of celebrity tea, and it involves Mrs. Haley Bieber. So, this TikToker, who goes by the name of Julia Carol Ann, recently posted a TikTok where she gave a rundown of the celebrities that she's met while she was a hostess at a prominent Manhattan, New York restaurant. She doesn't give the name of the restaurant, but she goes through a few celebs and rates them and rates her interaction. She put up the Hadid sisters, she gave them a 10 out of 10, said that they were absolutely lovely. And then she put up a picture of Hailey Bieber and she gave Hailey Bieber a 3.5 out of 10. She stated that she came in contact and had a handful of interactions with Hailey and that she was very rude during all of those times. She said she knew it was gonna be controversial, but honestly, I don't see anything controversial about real true tea and how celebrities actually treat real people. I am all for that kind of information. The only other person who was worse than Hailey Bieber was Kylie Jenner. She gave her a two because she said she was a really bad tipper, which also to me is some serious tea because Kylie, you know, there is controversy of whether or not she's a billionaire or not. But either way, she definitely has millions and millions of dollars and enough money to be a good tipper. So do with that information what you will. That's what she said on the TikTok and I agree, do with it what you will. It's definitely something that will not leave my mind. Anyway, Hailey Bieber, saw this TikTok, okay, and decided that she should respond and leave a comment on this girl's TikTok. She wrote, this is crazy. She responded saying, just came across this video and wanted to say, so sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or a bad attitude. That was never my intention. Well, let this be a lesson to Hailey Bieber and all celebrities out there that when you do go in public, might be nice to just be a decent human being because you never know when these people are gonna go on TikTok and make a video about you and then make you look terrible and then you look even worse responding to the TikTok. This wouldn't even be a situation if she was just nice the entire time. I'm not even saying nice, but just be a decent human being. You never know what that person's gonna do. I just found it very interesting that she even went as far to respond, but we'll see if this helps improve her interactions with the common folk like us in the future. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. That is it for the wrap party with me, your girl Madison Hill. For more stories and features, head on over to thebuzzallaccess.com. Also make sure you give me a follow on Instagram at I am Madison Hill. And you can also follow me on my own personal YouTube channel, just look up Madison Hill. And I'll see you guys next time. You've just been buzzed. Where my party people at? Where my party people at? Where my party people at?